All right, we got the biggest game releases of May of 2024. Now, to be honest with you, before we get into the video, I'm not really expecting too much, uh, but just know, June and July, it's going to go absolutely insane with the Xbox showcase and everything with Call of Duty. Let's get right to the video. May talking. is here, and so am I, doing that thing that I what do up, at Max? the beginning of every month. What thing, you ask? Why well, tell you about the video games that are going to come out in What's that up, month. Max? Here are May 2024's big game releases. I'm not expecting a lot. If you're watching this video and it's still only April, prove me don't wrong. be alarmed. You don't need to comment. I assure you, it will be May very soon. Max, prove me wrong. Hmm. Oh, uh, the ghost of Tsushima. As I do know that. That's coming. That that's yeah. Best to make these videos comprehensive and accurate, but mistakes do the, happen. The uh, director's cut. That, new yeah. information becomes available after yeah. we've already shot, edited, and uploaded the video. So apologies if something I say is coming out this month doesn't come out this month, or if something I don't say does. Got it? Last month we forgot a couple things. Top Spin 2K25 and Harold Halibut both yeah. landed on the PlayStations, Xboxes, and PC. One of them is a handmade claymation adventure game, and it's very quirky and about space aliens and fish and stuff. And the other is about tennis. I'll let you yeah. sort it out. Anyway, as for this month, on May 2nd, Switch owners can take a peep into the cool and fishy know, deep hey, and endless ocean. I've reacted to like first new entry three in trailers of this Scuba game series already. Two Wii games a million years ago and hasn't come up for air again until now. Still that day, a Biotic Factor hits early access on PC, a one to six player cooperative survival crafting game that takes six place player. in a scientific research facility where things have gone sideways in multiple dimensions. Okay. So basically, Half Life meets Valheim, I guess? Then okay, there's Foundry, that. also on PC in early access, yeah, I don't know which this. lets you be a robot and run a factory and build complex machines to your heart's content. If you okay. want to be something squishier than a robot and engage in considerably simpler activities, there's Armed and Gelatinous Couch Edition, the console version of the multiplayer indie party game that originally hit PC in 2016. Seems like the kind of game that probably a should lot have been of, on uh, consoles clashing a lot and sooner, but hey, better late than never, and now it's on everything. Finally, on the second, MotoGP 24 comes to everything, the latest installment in the long-running series in which you play as a cybernetically enhanced physician working in the United Kingdom, a motorized general practitioner, or MotoGP for short. Okay, not okay. really. It's actually a motocross game. You probably figured that one out. But who's to say that one of these people on little bikes doing jumps isn't a British medical professional? Hmm? So what I told you was true from a certain point of view. On May 3rd, Cozy Space Survivors hit Steam, a colorful yeah, roguelite that like describes I said, itself I'm not really as a expecting too much in May. people who don't have much time but love playing and finishing games, which is something I genuinely oh, that's appreciate. Definitely not me. <laughs> I know a lot of people want <laughs> that's as much bang for me. their buck as humanly possible, but it's not like there's a shortage of massive 100 plus hour RPGs and open world games out there, not to mention free to play service games that get like a Sisyphean deluge of regular updates constantly. Sometimes it's just nice to actually beat a game in less than seven to 10 business days. Controversial opinion, I know. Anyway, on May 7th, Heading Out hits Steam, which is a driving game inspired I, I, by classic I thought this road was, movies uh, with a slick, mostly persona. black and white style that has you driving across the US, first. steering clear of Johnny Lawman. This one kind of reminds me of Cross Country USA, this ancient text-based game about truck driving. Wait, so this is like a driving game? In computer class in fourth grade. But this one this don't looks look cooler bad, be because you're probably not making the car go faster by typing out speed up or being forced to share the keyboard Wait, with Kale Williamson. Like, the, uh, also, like the Andy Griffin show. Like crimes. the Andy Griffin show type also of graphics. Also that day is Venture to the Vile on PC, a 2.5D Victorian fantasy Metroidvania yeah. full of monsters and hold puzzles up, what? and secrets How come and I never some whimsical, this? but also kind of creepy animal people and some people oh, and some whimsical, but also kind of creepy This actually looks pretty cool. Cool. I, I'll on be May honest 8th, with you. There's Indica, which may sound like a nice, laid-back, relaxing, sleepy time strain of video game, but it is actually a really unhinged-looking game. It's like yeah, an adventure I've seen, like, puzzle the game demo about this. a nun that's got platforming and weird fisheye angles, and I don't know what's going on, but I'm intrigued. That's on new gen and PC. Still that day on PC, you can try to escape a sinking ship in the puzzle platformer Gift or experience the open world survival MMORPG V Rising in all of its version 1.0. Oh, V Rising. Glory. Okay, I've heard but of V Rising, of course. A year ago and got a lot of I know that was coming out in May. Okay. And it's expected to sink its teeth into consoles later this year. Uh oh. On May 9th, the indie Metroidvania Animal Well comes to PC, Switch, and PS5. And as the title suggests, that's about a well full of animals, which is all very well and good. But if it sounds like too many animals, there's also Little Kitty Big City, where you play as one specific feline causing some. Mischief oh. around town, not unlike that game about the goose that came out a while ago. I forget what that uh, one was like called. Like I said, I'm not really anyway, expecting game you know, too much. I don't want to be disrespectful, but you know, Spectral Scream leaves early access on the night. Oh no, it's a like a scary game. Rooting around in purgatory with up to three friends and a whole bunch of demons and awful creatures. That's playable in VR or just regular R. Oh, on May 10th, no, Homeworld uh -uh. 3 hits PC, uh -uh. the long-awaited sequel to the beloved space strategy game Home that was World. even more long-awaited after it got delayed from Hold its on, original March release date. That one still lets you build stuff in space, but now there's more floating around. It is, there, this looks cool. That looks cool. Windows XP computer, unlike its 2003 predecessor. 
On the 14th, the Rogue Prince of Persia hits early access, which is basically I know this Prince game. of Persia by way of Dead Cells, developed by the Dead Cells Dead team. Dead no Cells! It's really interesting to see how this compares to the recent side-scroller Prince of Persia we just got with the Lost Crown. And the combat looks really nice in this game, I'm going to be honest basic with you. Dead Cells. Between the Dead Cells Castlevania DLC and this, it's really cool seeing an indie team getting to play around with a legacy IP. I hope it yields good results. Biomutant, that open world action RPG about cute little animals. What is that? Whoa, 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 whoa. It's Switch. What's this, this called? Biomutant. I enjoyed my time with it, mostly thanks to the setting and art direction. Oh, what is that I creature? I to make Ugh. a little guy who looked like my dog, and I made him run around beating the shit out of lizards and stuff. Hey, it this is pretty cool. That actually looks hard. Still, that day is Neptunia Game Maker R Evolution, which will have you trying to survive the unforgiving world of game development, managing your own studio, and probably doing some fantasy anime stuff on the side. Ironically, I stumbled on a report about this game's Japanese physical sales being some of the worst numbers in the history of the long-running Neptunia series, selling uh -huh. less than 6,000 copies across Switch, PS4, and PS5. Oh my. So hopefully some Western Neptunia fans can help move the needle. 6,000 across North all three consoles? Oh, that's May 16th, not good. Ghost of Tsushima's Director's Cut hits PC. The latest yes, I'm covering PlayStation this. exclusive makes its way to a I'm platform covering this. where the X button is between the Z and the C buttons instead of the square and circle buttons. These ports have been kind of hit or miss on a technical level, so here's hoping that this one sticks Hey, if you guys don't know what to do whenever it comes game, to my channel, make sure, nice uh, look between... A like and D this. More importantly, keyboard. I really want to see people mod a bunch of weird stuff into it, like Waluigi and Thomas the Tank Engine and Shrek. If you want some more hardcore slicing and dicing, Die by the Blade also drops on PC, which is a 1v1 sword dueling game Ooh, hold with one-hit kills, kind of like a modern spin on Bushido Blade. If you're more into shooting stuff and careful precision, that bad. there's also like this. Robo Beat, a rhythm-based That last game was, was shooter, cool. Which seems this game right here is cool, too. I can't lie. This VR? For synthesizers and neon over guitars oh, and fire. On May 21st, one of the most anticipated Xbox games finally drops with Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, the follow-up to Ninja okay. Theory's 2017 I didn't know this was coming out in May. Hit, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Wait a minute. This game will definitely be a visual spectacle. Wait, The developer what? has been pretty transparent that it's not a big, huge, sprawling epic and that it can be played through in around 10 hours. Is that worth the price of admission? I mean, That's entirely your call. This hey, game is very side, at least it's anticipated. Also be available on My bad. Okay. That's on Xbox We're covering this too. And PC. We're covering that this too. Day, we've got the console release of We're the covering System that. Shock remake. If you're dying to play Ken Levine's BioShock spiritual that, successor listen, Judas, it might be worth revisiting BioShock spiritual successor. That game, spiritual that game was very uh, anticipated Xboxes, by like a lot of like Xbox people and stuff like that. So we're definitely checking that out. On the 21st, Paper Trail is a cute looking puzzle adventure with a novel foldable world mechanic. That's on everything. Right. If that wasn't enough paperwork, two days later, Nintendo Paper Switch trail. gets a nice reprint of Paper oh, Mario yeah, yeah, the thousand, the thousand, yeah, the thousand, Door, uh, which gives the GameCube classic a visual overhaul and some minor tweaks. And I'll course, check it out. Not I'm not really going to do like too much content on that. Less colorful adventure in Haunting, uh, what's this? Everything. Finally, on the 23rd, there's Songs really of Silence, a game. strategy RPG where you defend your realm from the impending uh, threat of silence, right which I'm guessing is more malevolent than regular I peace and quiet. Yeah. In any case, you can make a big old racket on new gen and PC. That Hellblades, I'm on definitely excited about that game, though. The Hellblade game. Never Say Goodbye says hello to PlayStation VR 2, and a few days later on the 28th, the WB-centric Smash-like Multiverses gets released again. Again? It's a whole early access open beta thing a year ago, but then it went dark for a while, so yeah. if you really missed making Shaggy beat the shit out of LeBron James and Steven universe you can do that all over again what's on everything a, but switch what's that a drop in it again umbra claw comes to everything in this game Wait, you play what? as a dead cat which doesn't sound very exciting when you phrase it that right, way we're gonna but talk about that me, at, the, uh, at the end of the video you're in the soul plane which is like an ethereal realm not to be confused with soul plane the movie where snoop dogg is a commercial airline pilot one two testicles one two hey y'all what's crack -a -lack? This is your soul plane show. Okay, okay. I was about also to say, like, copyright. Slacko, let's not, you know, play too PC, much, you know. That's a retro-styled FPS that takes some cues from the Fear games. Speaking of spooky stuff, you can also find your worth behind the waking wheel in Nightmare Kart. That's the fan-made kart racer formerly known as Bloodborne Kart. That oh, it's fan-made? Okay, I was about to say, man, what type reasons, of studio made this? It's kind of cool if Sony did anything with that IP other than telling other people not to do stuff with it. Then, of course, if you want to be boring F1. going really fast, yes. there's F124. Yes. The latest Formula One racing game about the actual real motorsport. I know a yes, lot of people sir. got into F1 because of that show, and it's obviously a very popular sport, but yes. compared to the racing game with Cleric beasts and menses cages and canehurst carriages with gatling guns on them it is boring but that's fine boring is generally subjective nice. and even when it's not it's okay to enjoy boring stuff i like lots of objectively boring stuff like doing yard work or going to bed at 9 30 or reading that's not boring you need those books on very specific you need topics, those hours like nighttime or candy or salt 
Last weekend, I got excited about the napkin rings at Cost Plus World Market. What the f happened to me? Napkin rings? That is so boring. Anyway, F124 <laughs> is objectively <laughs> less boring than napkin rings, and it's on everything oh. but Switch. Anything with race cars is less boring than stuff that doesn't have them, so there. I'm sorry I said mean things about F124. Hit F5 to refresh your this browser. Man, Max is crashing uh, out. Anyway, finally, at some point in May, some assembly required will let you build robots in a virtual space using your MetaQuest, and those are all of the games that we presently know about at this point in time. Shout out we'll to IGN. Some after we make this video, just to make us look foolish, and then you will scold us in the comments for looking so foolish. If you'd like a more comprehensive way of keeping track of what's coming out and what already shout came out, out to IGN. Then the IGN playlist. We even have a shout out to IGN. Shout out to Max. I just had to let me let me just get my, my my few words in. Um, let's talk about Hellblades. And uh, now Hellblades, I, 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 listen, I won't yap for five more minutes. Like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not like Max over here. Like, I'm not gonna yap for like 20,000 years. Let me just say my piece. Um, but let, honestly though, that Hellblade, <laughs> shout out to Max, by the way. Obviously, like, the whole yapping thing, I think that's dumb. I mean, it's just talking or whatever. Like, I just have to clarify that because, you know, I don't, I don't want Max to get mad at me or what. I don't want IGN to get, you know, super mad at me and call me a meanie and stuff. You know, I love IGN. Um, listen. Um, Hellblade 2, very anticipated game, uh, only on Xbox, I think, yeah, it's on PC as well, uh, that game was very, uh, anticipated by a lot of people, including myself, because whenever I seen, like, the actual, like, I wouldn't say trailer, but, well, yeah, trailer, because they showed that at, I think they showed that at the Game Awards of last year, and I think the year before that, too, so that game was definitely, uh, I don't know if it was pushed back, but that game was definitely being, um, like, you know, I guess held, you know, for a long time. And now that it's actually coming out. I didn't even know that it was actually coming out. I thought that game would never come out. But uh yeah, Hades 2. I said Hades. I'm so sorry. Hellblade 2 is definitely coming out. Um I'm excited about that story mode. He said that it's going to be Max said it's going to be 10 minutes. Now I I'm, bro, oh my god. Max said it's going to be 10 <laughs> <laughs> 10 hours i'm over here saying 10 minutes and i'm messing up my words like the script is like don't blame me the script is messed up I, i'm looking off the script right here behind that behind the uh bamra i'm looking at right here right and, and it says 10 minutes like like bro first of all whoever wrote the script you're fired uh and number two listen so max said that the game is gonna be 10 hours long and if i'm being honest with you um whenever a game is is i mean objectively short like, because, you know, to some people, bro, 10 hours is perfect. For me, if I'm being honest with you, 10 hours is definitely a, uh, it's definitely a short game. But if I'm being honest with you, bro, I just want the game to come out. It's been a while since the game uh, had, like, some type of, like, info about it. And now that we got a release date about it and we got, like, the amount of, like, you know, um, I guess, the, like, the duration of the game. Cool, I'll take it both. It, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, 10, 10 hours is 10 hours. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, that game's coming out. What do you say? May 21st, I think. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're definitely checking that out. Another thing, Multiverses. Um, that game, I think that game died. I think that game died about a year ago. And that's not me trying to be funny or whatever. No, actually, I, I think I tried to go on Multiverses. Um, I remember trying to go on Multiverses a few months ago. And literally, like, the services were down. So like, you couldn't even play the game. And now it's getting, you know, it's, they're relaunching the game or whatever. Um... It, it was it's, it was weird because whenever the game first came out, a lot of content creators were playing it. A lot of people were playing it. Um, I, th I I don't know what happened. I think it was just like what happened. Like like I don't even know. Like I can't even come up with like an excuse for like why it died so quickly. That's the thing. Like the game was popping. Like look, 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 look. this was his chart. The game popping. Da 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 da. And then obviously like you know after like a month, right? That, like it was stagnant out because that happens to every game. It happened to Fall Guys. Uh, it happens to Fortnite. It happens to any literally, in literally other game. A game will have its peak, right? And then like games like Fortnite, they always have peaks. Like every like I don't know, like three months or whatever. Like games like that will have like its peaks like every every three months. But a game like Fall Guys, a game like Multiverses, those games unless you add something like monumental, then like you know they will have they will keep having peaks. But but then like you know. Games like Fall Guys, it's gonna stay on like a, on like a stagnant like you know type of like you know uh, road I guess. Whenever it came down to multiverses, bro, it had its peak and it crashed. Like it was like a stock. Like bro, like it had its peak and then it fell. It fell all the way down. It didn't fall down and then like mellow out. No, it had its peak and it fell straight down. And to the point to where I didn't see nobody, no, like no content creators playing like, it, like you know doing any videos on it. I didn't see any streamers playing it. 
Um, and so I was like, in, I got this random thought. I was like, you know what? I haven't played multiverses in a while. Let me play, let me just play that. Loaded up the game. The uh, the services are gone. Like like it like you know like, I was like, what? Like what happened? And literally like the game is not even like it's not even functioning anymore. So the fact that they're actually bringing it back, um, means I don't know what that means. They're probably gonna like gonna bring like a lot of um. I guess new stuff to the table. Like I don't think that they're going to drop the same game. I mean, they probably will though. That's the thing. Like I know I'm yapping right now, but endure the yap. Like I don't. They had to like add something different. Oh my god! Another game that did the same thing that Multiverses did was um the dodgeball game. The dodgeball game. What was the dodgeball game called? Hold up. Wait. 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 I, I gotta look it up. I never do this in videos, but I gotta look it up. It was a dodgeball game. Uh, Knockout City. Knockout City did the exact same thing Multiverses did. Um, it, it had its peak, and then boom, it, it crashed. So um, they had to like add like something different because I can't imagine them putting out the exact same game and expecting a different uh, and like expect like different result or whatever. I mean, maybe they did. Uh, it, you know, and, and maybe it was just like the timing of like when they put it out. I don't know, man. Comment down below. What do you guys think about these games that are coming out in May? I'm excited for. Uh, it was Thunder, by the way. I'm excited for like a few of these games, but um, not really for a lot of them. I'm excited for a few though. I, I, I was expecting no games. I was waiting for like June and July and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, excited for like um, Hellblaze Two. And you know what? We'll cover some multi uh, versus too. You know, if it comes out, if it actually comes out. We'll cover something, man. So you guys let me pick something out and bye.